We introduce you to a local author whose past may haunt her, but she's not afraid to write about it. And the events that transpired have even helped to shape the person she's become. What is it that we like about being scared? It's like, uh... The things that go bump in the night, things that you can't explain. The monster under your bed. The monster in your closet. Wouldn't you like to have an explanation for those things? Since she was a child, local author Donna Parrish Bischoff has had one foot in the Hudson Valley and the other grounded firmly in the spirit world. Well, that's what I do. I try to find that explanation. Against the Halloween backdrop of Miss Fanny's Victorian party house in Wappingers Falls, Donna was signing copies of her new book, The Haunting on Lee Avenue. It's where I grew up from the age of 6 to 12, from 1974 to 1979. This is a real house in Yonkers that becomes the terrifying centerpiece of her tale. Things being thrown at us, us being physically harmed, and is seemingly a portal into things otherworldly. I think it was a demonic presence. As if unidentified animal sounds and growling in the middle of the night isn't scary enough, this entity took it to a far creepier level. It would have my father say things um, in the middle of the night, like burn the dead in the incinerator, and my mother, my sister, my brother, and myself would like barricade ourselves in the bedroom with the dresser up against the door until the morning light. My father wouldn't have any recollection of what he said but every one of our family members did. And the book describes at length how the family chose to confront the unexplained. My mother was a devout Catholic and she tried to bless each room because she went to our local church and she begged them to come and please do blessings on, on the home and they absolutely refused. This existence mocked the very thing my mother held on to with dear life. It seemed as though with every psalm my mother spoke, things elevated to a whole new level of malevolence. For whatever reason, the demonic presence or the spirits, um, they got worse. It terrorized us, and I wanted to just lose my mind. I, I, I think I did lose my mind. What do you do outside of prayers and holy water? Who do you turn to? What do you do? So I decided, you know, it needs to be told. So Donna became an advocate and a poster child for the old adage, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. I grew into an adult and I knew that the afterlife had something more to it. I actually I enjoy it now, so now I want to know what these things are. So she's using her experience to help others understand, penning this book, No Ghost Writer Required, are we any children here? and leading her own paranormal investigative team, Indy Para, on Ghost Hunt After Ghost Hunt. Our findings were startling to us. In a search for answers. We strive to help those who might have problems, who have fears, and we try to set their minds at ease and help them not be afraid. And as for that house on Lee Avenue in Yonkers... There have been several owners over the last 10 years, at least maybe 10 owners, so that might spell something out to you. You may actually live next door. If you know Yonkers and you know Lee Avenue, you can easily spot it. To a bona fide haunted house. Let's see address Justin. I can't tell you the address. For more information, Google the Lee Avenue haunting. Well, that will do it for this edition of Neighborhood Journal. I'm Anne-Marie Leamy. And from all of us here at Neighborhood Journal, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.